The U.S. contribution in avoided global warming from the, the Paris Agreement would have amounted to 0.02 degrees Fahrenheit avoided warming. But the cost would have been $154 billion annually. So all costs, no benefit. And it's a, it's a good thing that President Trump withdrew from a treaty that was never ratified by the Senate. On the ground, it doesn't mean anything right now. Um, I think what it might have meant in the future was international pressure to uh, keep it in the ground, to not produce oil and natural gas. Even though natural gas from oil and gas wells is the number one reason the United States has reduced greenhouse gas emissions more than any other country. By increasing that natural gas electricity generation, we have actually reduced more greenhouse gas emissions than government policies, international treaties, cap and trade, you name it. So we're actually more effective by using market forces than this international treaty. One of the implicit messages uh, was the fact that in the president's statement, there's actually no mention of science. So it's clear that science is not being valued. Nonetheless, we will continue to, to march forward. Our agenda here at UCAR is still going to focus on weather, water, and climate because these are critical issues with respect to protection of life, property, support of economic development, and national security. The fact that 190 nations around the world signed on to the Paris Accord is clear evidence of the importance of the topic to their own national self-interest. And so, yes, the U.S. may back out, but as a global community, these nations around the world, China, Italy, France, Germany, they all see that they're protecting their own citizenry by being part of this common good.